Last December, the All Nepal Football Association made a landmark decision to win worse discrimination between men and women national players and pay them the same salary starting January 2021. Nepal thus became one of the few countries in the world to end pay disparity in sports. But in most other sectors, there is still a wide wage gap between female and male workers, according to a recent story report on worldwide the Central Bureau of Statistics. An analytical report on women and business shows that the share of women workers in any sector is high when the monthly income is small and vice versa. The share of women workers is 58% for monthly incomes smaller than rupees 7,600. In contrast, the share of women workers is only 12.2% for monthly incomes of more than rupees 25,000. The Central Bureau of Statistics, the Central Agency for the Collection, Consolidation, Processing, Analysis, Publication and Dissemination of Data in Nepal reports that the biggest pay gap between male and female workers is in the professional category. In this category, for example, if a male earns Rs 23,800 monthly, a female earns just Rs 12,000. Even in the manager's category, which requires competency, if a male earns Rs 32,000 per month, the pay for women averages Rs 25,500. The pay gap in the technicians and associated professionals category is not so great. In the agriculture, forestry and fisheries workers category too. Another reason is that the income of female workers is smaller than that of male workers even when they are in the same position. To achieve the sustainable development goals of the United Nations, the Bureau has recommended that a collection of 17 interlinked global goals be designed to be blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. On gender equality and women empowerment, it would be important to get a clear understanding of the situation of women participation in political, economic and public activities. The major problem of gender equality in Nepal, as pointed out by 15th Plan 2021-2024-25, to include prevalence of behavioral discrimination against women and the persistence of societal structures, beliefs, values and traditional practices that promote illiteracy, harmful practices and gender-based discrimination and violence against women. Nepali women ranked second in South Asia and 101st globally in the Global Gender Gap Report 2021. The Global Gender Gap Index showed that Nepal was ranked high on political empowerment while placed at lower position on educational attainment and health and survival. There was a huge payment disparity in private sector. The government should make a provision for an equal pay system. The pay disparity is the single biggest reason for discouraging women from participating in working and their professional growth. The 15th plan has made strategies such as responsive budgets at all levels of government for the institutionalization of gender and for the achievement of economic empowerment and social transformation by giving special priority to economically poor and socially excluded women to achieve substantial gender equality by ensuring equal and meaningful participation of women. Despite government efforts, gender disparities in Nepal have not been fully eliminated as women are backward in terms of literacy, property rights and labor participation. According to the report, the women's literacy rate of 57.7% is lower than that of men by 20 percentage points. The proportion of women with access to property rights is only 26% and labor participation of women is 26.3% compared to 53.8% for men. In terms of societal aspects, women are disproportionately more involved in unpaid housework than men. According to the report, there are 273,436 female managers, or 29.6 percent, compared to 648,773 male managers who make up 70.3 percent of the total. From agriculture, forestry and fishing to manufacturing, wholesale and retail trade accommodations and food service activities, financial and insurance activities, professional scientific and technical activities, education, human health and other social activities, the number of male managers is higher than that of the females. The gender gap in the information and communication sector is even wider, with male managers making up 89% and female managers accounting for only 9.8%.
According to the report, the participation of women at decision-making levels in the private sector is 29.61%. The average annual sales of a company run by female managers were Rs 1 million, compared to Rs 4.1 million for male managers. Similarly, the annual average report of companies run by female managers is Rs 343,000, compared to Rs 1.2 million for male managers. So the question is, until when will Nepal have gender waste gap?